Good morning and welcome to the live viewing of Crawford Gardens in Margate. Um, firstly, I just want to apologise about the live stream that was meant to happen at 10 o'clock this morning. and um, We had a few technical difficulties. Um, however, we are here now. So this is Crawford Gardens. It's a two bedroom house for £850. This is the outside. And then just down here, if you can see where my finger is, there's some black gates. You, you can go in there and park. I don't have a key from this side, but I can show you it from when we get to the other side. Um, and then that's like your driveway. And just so you can see, this is the road. So it's like a cul-de-sac. You have no one coming up and down it. Okay, so let me take you into the property, which is available to move into now. Okay, so the property has been completely refurbished throughout. It's all white and very neutral, so it's clean and ready to go. As you come in the front door, this is your living room and dining area. Um, I also just want to apologise if the rooms are dark at all and um, the electric needs topping up. So this is the living room and dining room area. It's really good size, really bright and airy. Just by the front door, you have got the cupboard, which has got your electric meter in. This is key and card um, and the gas is a bill. So really good size for your living room and your dining room area. This is the outside, which I'm going to show you at the end and I'll take you out there. Off of what I would say the dining area would be, you've got an understairs storage cupboard, so you can put your hoover, mop, anything that you would like. You've got some little coat hooks as well. Um, hi Tanya, uh, yes, most of the windows are double glazed, um, however there's a couple up here that are single glazed, but the majority where they can be double glazed are double glazed. I'm going to take you through to the kitchen, I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark. So it's brand new, really nice and modern. You've got an integrated cooker and hob and space for all of your other appliances. Plenty of storage space. You've got plumbing for a washing machine under there. So much storage. Um, hi Michelle, yes there is rear access. I'm gonna show you all of that at the end of the house tour. Okay, and off of the kitchen, you've got a downstairs cloakroom toilet, which has also got the boiler in. Okay, I've had a couple of questions. So the first question, are the appliances included? The only appliance included is the cooker and hob. Um, everything else you will need to provide yourself. But as you can see, there is lots of space for your appliances. Um, and Abigail has asked, is it just electric on the meter? Yes, it is just electric on the meter and the gas is paid by a bill. Okay, so this is the downstairs from this corner. So really, really nice. I'm going to take you upstairs. Hi, Sarah, the property is available now. Okay, so to the left, we have got the main bathroom. So 
So you've got a bath, you've got shower attachment, you've got a sink with a mirror and light. And then I'll just show you, you've got a little storage cupboard as well for your towels or toiletries, whichever you require it for. Straight ahead of you when you come up the stairs, you've got the main bedroom. So this is a really good size. You've got the Juliet balcony, which is stunning. Good size double. It's got a very cottage feel to this property. Okay, so this room has got lots of little tiny cupboards um, for storage. So when I say they're, they're quite small, but you might be able to put some stuff in there. You've got lots of plug sockets. So a couple of you have asked about the slanted walls. Yet yeah, we are in the eaves, so we, they are slanted. So you would have to have sort of lower, a lower headboard if, if, if you've got one um, with the bed. Or obviously, if you've got a higher headboard, then you could potentially put it here. However, you will cover the window. Um, things like wardrobes and stuff. I mean, none of them are... None of the walls are extremely tall before the eaves start coming in. So you might have to go chest of drawers or lower wardrobes or a rail of some kind. I'll just show you the Juliet balcony. So you have got a barrier for safety. Hi Olivia, no, the property comes as it is. So if you would like to put curtains or blinds up, we just need to speak to the landlord. And then lastly, upstairs, you've got the second bedroom, which is still a really good size. And you've got another one of these cupboards. Okay, so a couple of people are going to ask him, will the second bedroom fit a double uh, um, or a single bed? And someone's asked about king. Um, I don't think you'll fit a king size in, but you'll definitely fit a single or a double. Um, the double would have to be pushed up against one side though in order to get around the door because the door opens this way. So it might be that you have to have it up against that door. Just so you can see what I mean. Okay, so I'll quickly just recap upstairs again so you've got the main bedroom which is a really good size with the little storage cupboards and the Juliet balcony the second bedroom which is a large single or you'd be able to squeeze a double in there and the main bathroom, which has a shower attachment over the bath. And if we go downstairs, living room and dining area. Again, 
storage cupboard, kitchen with the cooker, hi Chloe, yeah you can put a fridge here, you can have a tall fridge freezer or a short one or you can put it over here. the downstairs toilet okay I'm now going to take you outside okay so you've got a really good size courtyard if I just show you from the outside, really nice, very low maintenance. And then earlier I spoke about the black gates, which are these, we're just the other side of them. So this, someone asked about rear access as well. So this would be the only way of the rear access would be coming through these gates. They are locked um, and obviously this would be where you park as well if you don't wish to park on the road. Okay, so this concludes the viewing today at Crawford Gardens in Margate. If you wish to apply for the property, if you could please email agent. My name is Sophie. Um, I believe there's two agents on there. So if you can just email myself, my name's Sophie, and let me know that you would like to apply. Um, if you've already email, emailed us your application form and filled that out, if you could also let me know um, that you've done that and you still wish to apply so that we can allocate that to this property. Um, alternatively, I will be emailing every single one of you that has joined today just to get your thoughts and feedback of the property if you do wish to apply. Um, so thank you very much for joining today. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.